due course. Any thoughts about that, Sid? If you've got a particular player here that you 45. fancy more than the other. Well, we all know what this lad's capable of. With the Ali Pali beat the great Phil Taylor. It was 3-0 down. And eventually beat Taylor 6-5. Did Mardle. And who can forget the start this lad had against the World Championship final against Taylor, the Circus Tavern. Really looked as though he could give Taylor a game for the first half of the game. It's a dip now, though. 100. Oh, we've seen one man from Essex go out of the competition already. 100. Something of a surprise as a brilliant Mark Walsh beat Colin Lloyd. Wayne Mardle will want to make sure that he doesn't follow his uh, former county teammate out of the competition. 123. Oh, yes, 9 out of 10 for sentiment, but 3 out of 10 for spelling. <laughs> and, uh, well, let's say 5 out of 10 for accuracy. We've got Mervyn King coming up later, folks. Now, there's the King of Dart, surely. That's KNG if you're a texter. <laughs> yes. Oh, beautiful last dart. He is really fine and sweet. The red bit, the lipstick, is Dudbridge. Wayne not yet got the radar going as now 125 so Mardle hits the big score to leave himself handy and Dudbridge having to fight here to hang on to his throw that's a great dart double 16 an absolute must oh long way up there what a chance here for Mardle said just allowed to step in 216s now take the lead no bother Talking about texting, trying to text my wife the other week just to say, get chips, put on vinegar. It took me 47 minutes. Couldn't find the backwards button. Well, Marlow could be 3 0 up. He's been first for the double in all three legs. But uh, failed in the first leg, but he's broken the throw. Gets the 140 start. Looking good here, Marlow. Now it's made for Marlowis. Like the blog in the Sistine Chapel, what other place would they decorate the entire auditorium in colours of your shirt? <laughs> 85. Yes, and the colours of his flights too. Well, we're looking at the moment to see that awkward angled wrist. He does cock his wrist as he releases the dart for bridge. Unlucky flight that. What I like with Mardell is the fans throng under the plastic palm trees is the business head on the showbiz rest. Yeah, it was interesting when he, he was uh, indulging in his magnificent walk on. Everybody in the room making the most of it. Mardell making the most of it. But Dudbridge, I noticed, turned his back. Not out of disrespect or anything, but simply to focus on that which he wanted to focus on. 102 average, excellent. I like, as I say, that jumelage of accuracy, fun, and control. You're seeing the real model now. Well, he always says he loves Blackpool, doesn't he? And if he is to. Get the tops here to go 3 1 up. Oh, superstar 3 1 now to Mardle. Magnificent throwing at the doubles here. Mardle 3 out of 5. Dudbridge 1 out of 2. Good stuff, this. Island casters for him. Caster Royal for the opponent. As I say, the composure of Mardle is exquisite. The man looking under stress already. Dudbridge obviously does play with a frown on his face of concentration. 85. What a match. The Rococo Splendor, where Joseph Locke waved his hanky and a thousand ladies cried. Oh, and Whoa. the first 180 of the match puts Dudbridge in a great position in this fifth leg. Needs it. Oh, hates the last one. Should have been more sophisticated left or right of the marker with that one. It's a race to 10, but you have to go to clearing this. 
beautiful. They are both using the third down in the 60 sequence brilliantly. So Texan Wiggle run there, John. Yes. Surely not win. Ah. 58. Mark you require 111. So a chance here for Dudbridge. He's only thrown nine darts. 12 darts are possibly back and here. Topsy wants to take us to the break. No. 91. Not to be. He'll be back though. Yeah, just called that. Can be nowhere near the requisite here. So to take us in. Do a little breather. A 3 2. Grand Master Flash needs an accurate bash. That bit. Sliver, sliver tickle down the barrel. Another pitched. Well, five. Ten score. Well, still he'll be back, but it's uh, getting precarious. If Mardle can find a treble here, Dodbridge. Sixty. Under a bit more pressure, I suppose he's 10. under a little. Mardell capable of taking out 116 if he gets a chance. Spot on, Johnny. You needed a better and shot there. The so it's locked. Three to up. Break a throw in his favour. Has the throw in this particular session. We're in a cross between Lennon's tomb and the Opera House in Milan. And nobody's waiting for the divers' high notes. They're waiting for that flock of top tungsten and the top flock. Because you've got the top flock 51. here, Johnny. No doubt about it. Some great players and a fair share of honest support as well, Sydney boy. I can think of different adjectives. <laughs> you run off sitting on the fence with that. <laughs> Lovely Marga. It's in the top of the bed. Split the difference, William Tell. Oh, too much risk. Got to have a decent session here, Dudbridge. Nothing over adventurous, but uh, needs somehow to get the break back, get on level terms. Of course, this is the competition where you've got to win by two clear legs if it does get to that stage eight all nine all then it will be stated just wait in the dart beautifully model unfortunately that tickled the left hand side of the barrels to the right 95 mark you require 170 uh, the last game Colin Lloyd won on this stage, 170 is what he finished with, of course, when he won the title three years ago. But, uh, and there have been a few others in the 40. time I've been Where sitting in the commentary 90. box in this uh, marvellous arena, Sid, but not on that occasion, as Mardle looks for double 15, he'll split this now, 7, no, 11 for double 2. 86. Mark can require 130. Give us a level game. Former world finalist some years back against Taylor. Oh, nice. Another trouble 20. Has to get bullseye. Saw so there the exact dip he put Very on it, but there was a bit of leftward curve. Double two. 66% to the right of the marker. Madhouse up there. Oh, no lucky. Well, I question him going for 11 when he's really ought to have gone for seven to leave himself double four. Uh, gives himself a bit uh, more scope for splitting, but there we go. Double eight wanted by Dudbridge. Double four he wants now. So Marlow gets another chance. And you can see that sneer of concentration now. Shouldn't have been given this chance. A lazy slack dart by the opponent. Double two. Same problem. Got a wiggle, got a jiggle. Got a double wiggle jiggle right or left. Oh, oh it's the middle of the markers. Mark you require eight. Well, don't want to dwell on it for too long, but I think it should have gone seven for double four. He likes that part of the board. This is where Dudbridge is aiming at now. And, oh, he's got double two himself. I rather fancied that part. He had a fantastic marker. And so Six both four. of them struggling to hit the double. Marble gets Ready a third goal four. at double two. Surely, surely, he's keeping beautifully calm. The red bit. Oh, back in the madhouse. Yes, and the Marlo ends. 